Okay, so this is the model of the Seabury landfill. This is an example. It's a preliminary model, and uh, it's not finished. Um, but I did just want to go over um, a few highlights that I know that were important to us in a previous discussion. So we start out the model by um, previewing the current condition of the site the current uh, topography we have a, a current image just sort of draped over this and um, I figure you may or may not want to show this but a good reason to show this is just to sort of sh um, show the audience okay um, here you are and, and to sort of um, get get uh, their bearings um, the next place that we want to go is to um, look at um, pre-landfill conditions and so I'm going to um, take and turn the visibility down on this thing and then we're gonna uh, ramp up the our um, pre-landfill surface and um, we can take and zoom in and out and sort of discuss this surface you know if, if we need to we can overlay the the imagery again just to get you know the user may sort of lose track of where they are but we can um, turn the image on and off but you're going to notice something that I'm going to show in the next feature here and and that's the um, that one of the things we were able to capture is the post landfill surface so this is the post landfill surface and yellow and the brown is the pre landfill surface these are this is one of the the features that we actually wanted to show that hey these were maybe borrow areas or that that have now been leveled and and, and whatnot so what really what we're looking at here is the difference between the um, the the um, pre and post uh, landfill surfaces. This is one of the things that Drew said was really important. And then we we show well that you know the true post landfill surface doesn't have the landfill in it. So we sort of um, fill in uh, the landfill right here, and then we can take and sort of fade out the uh, the the pre-landfill condition and this is the current surface of this model with the post landfill topography outside of the um, actual landfill area um, there's some discrepancies in the model that I don't have time to discuss here we can discuss those later and clean them up the the point is is really just to show that um, what we what we're able to do is actually separate out the um, the the land fill itself from um, the um, the surrounding uh, t topography areas you can see here you know sort of here's where the little um, place where it sort of sits in, in that ravine so again we can sort of um, look at the model and flip it around and make the uh, the landfill as transparent as we want to see kind of how it fits in that groove um, there's also other things that um, we can turn on vector layers to look at roads and, and whatnot um, I don't have those ready yet I do have one example so here's an example of, of um, our topography data I pulled it out of the GIS and just have sort of over uh, laying it here just so you can kind of uh, understand that this is something that um, we can do here's another little thing that I worked on that I just wanted to show you this is our perspective uh, from the northeast looking um, southwest we can actually take and move a slice through the landfill and um, watch this um, slice sort of march down the gulch here and um, the color schemes just correspond with depth but we can take and sort of see the actual contact points of the uh, of the landfill with the uh, canyon bottom or gulch or whatever you guys are calling it anyway uh, I'm out of time I hope this is helpful thanks